Lori. And I'm Rick. And we are Here We Go Again Camping. Guys, thanks for joining us. Today, we're coming from our local dealership and looking at a 2019 Class A Windsport 34J. Good job. Yes. Yeah, guys, I uh, really like this. I'm, I think I might have Lori interested in it, which is... I am a little interested in this one. If, you, if you've watched us and you've seen some of our videos, this is a big step for her. It is. The idea that you come and you look and you like a Class A. But... Uh, thanks for stopping by and checking out our video. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you can get our upcoming videos. But stay tuned as we tour this uh, class A. So here is our layout. I love this layout. It's kind of like ours in the fact that you've got the bunk beds and you've got the uh, sleeping over the uh, driver's cab. However, this has a king bed. It does. And it has, I feel like it's a wider walk space. Yes. Most, I don't know if that's true or not, but it feels like it's wider. Most definitely. It, it's more open, I believe. But we're going to go through, you, you can pause it on these specs if you want to look at them, but just some of the things that we really liked is that we continue with our V10 engine. Um, we have much bigger fuel capacity. Much bigger, 80 gallons. Yeah, which we would love. Uh, but walking around here on the outside, um, love the storage on this. If you've seen any of our videos in the past, the storage in the Class C, it drives me bananas. It really does. And Class A's just have that more luxurious feel and a whole lot more space underneath for storage, which is great. Uh, the slide out takes up the whole driver's side. Yes. I mean, it is a huge slide out, which is kind of similar to ours as well. Uh, but you but, have an awning over the slide out. Yes, to protect the top of it, hopefully to prevent leaks. I'm not sure, but that's the whole hope for it and to prevent mm. limbs getting in there. Um, I love that it has a ladder in the back so that you can climb up on it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a that's a plus. It actually has an outdoor sink, not kitchen, right? It has an outdoor sink and refrigerator. Yeah, you just you can't cook. Uh, that's that's the only thing it doesn't have uh, in this per se outdoor kitchen. And here I'm opening it up. One thing we didn't like, we didn't understand, is that it didn't the uh, door didn't open up. A little bit higher so yeah, i mean the kids wouldn't bump their well one of our kids wouldn't bump their heads but the rest of us would and that's one thing we miss on our travel trailer was the idea of having an outdoor fridge yes because we actually used it a whole lot more than what you think because with kids wanting to drink i mean it gets hot outside that was an easy access for them to get cold drinks without yeah. having to come in all the time yeah and one thing about this uh motorhome it has five tvs uh one of them being outside I'm not really sure how much I would use the outside TV, but it'd be there if you needed it, I guess. Right. And I do like how that door doesn't go up because it kind of protects it. Right. But then that's what the awning's for. So, again, the doors throw me off. Yeah. But, I mean, we looked at this going into it. We knew it was used. The people that had this before, I believe, took really good care of it. Yes. And that's the only way I would be interested in looking at a used motorhome is... Going into it looking, there was no smell, stinks, whatever. Didn't see any leaks. Going through the little... Uh, Checklist the that obvious, we make. The obvious <laughs> things. But I really in, I really like the layout and um, just having all the... Uh, everything up front in the cab. Like from yes. the uh, yeah. jacks. The electric jacks. The uh, automatic leveling. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of space in here. I mean... It has convectional uh, microwave oven. It has the stovetop and the oven itself. A king size bed, king size, yeah. which is fantastic. So much storage on the inside for closet space, clothes. It has a TV over there. Uh, Little sitting area if yeah. you wanted it. Um, so, but the bunk beds for us having the three kids and three dogs, this would be a must for us to continue on would be uh, bunk beds. The bonus with the bunk beds is the top one actually folds up and it's actually a or storage area, like a closet. Yeah. It has a place to hang clothes and doors to close to hide it. Yeah, I was I was a little uh, shocked with the doors for the bunk beds, but I liked it. I, I think even if our kids slept in there, they would want to be closed up. It might be a little warm. 
Yeah, but that they would they would want the privacy. I think. I think the doors are more for the closet. Yeah, but I would go into this saying that I was super impressed with this uh, motorhome. Like Lori said, the the walkway, the openness of it. Uh, we get a little crammed up in our class C when it's raining, when it's bad out, uh, especially with all of us and the dogs. Yes. Now here's the one thing I was confused about: is there is a place for a TV here across from the bunk beds, but. Each TV, each bunk bed had its own TV yeah. at the end, at the foot of the bed. So I'm not sure what they were going for there. But it's a pretty spacious bed or bathroom. I mean, it has a shower, not a tub. It has the toilet, of course. And I love the wraparound countertop space. Yes. Lots that of, I love. Lots of counter space and lots of cabinet space as well. Much yes. more than what we have. But, it actually is, yes. But going back into this, 2019, I thought it was very well priced. I would have not even looked at it. Not, <laughs> no way I would look at it unless it was priced well for what what we would be willing to spend. Actually, when I first went into it, I thought it was a brand new one because they had kept it so nice. Yeah. But, of course, Rick was like, no, Lori, it's a 2019. I was like, wow, no way. Because, like Rick said, it didn't stink. It didn't have any of the look of a used vehicle. Now, I guess I got pickier as it went on. But right here, I love this. It's a little doggy window. Yeah, or cat. Or cat, for those that sorry. With cats. Yeah. Yes. But in looking at this, I love the openness and the view that you have with the Class A's versus the overhang and the Class C's. Uh, but I will tell you, looking at these captain chairs and the fact that they turn around and... You've got a table. It just, the drive for me is what kind of <clears throat> led me into thinking, wow, this would be very nice. Yes, plus with a big family, like we have, we're a family of five. We usually take an extra person, usually my niece. But even if we take other people, the, the dinette gets pretty closed off. So having the captain chairs that swivel and the extra table would give us two extra spaces to eat. So... I love that. Yeah. So I love that thought. I want to go into the, some of the things that I really liked. So here's just a couple of things. <clears throat> I love the continue on with the bunk beds. Yes. I like the bunk, uh, the king size bed. So the sleeping, I think, would be really good. Uh, well, I mean, just seeing you here, I mean, that's a big chair for you. It is. It's nice and comfy. Yeah. It's kind of scaring me seeing you behind the wheel of this thing, but <laughs> I'm just that's just on a personal level. Uh, it's 35 feet long. I mean, it's longer than ours. Yes, it is. So our likes here are the layout, the design, the amount of people that you can sleep, and the 80-gallon fuel capacity. Yeah, so some of the dislike would be, just be for us is that a personal level is the color scheme, and we really don't know much about four, so we're going to have to do our research, and we just advise you guys when you're buying something used, do your research. Hi campers, thank you for watching our video. We really appreciate all the support. And guys, if you want to check out some other videos of ours, click up here. And if you want to become a subscriber, which I hope you will, click down here. Yeah, also you can check out our apparel shop by clicking over here. But until next time, safe travels and God bless.